So uh, this is a fun one. Um, Greg actually was working on a project for me. And one of the things we wanted to do is we wanted to look and see if the Google Places API is accessible and what kind of information you could get from it. And it turns out you can get a lot of information from the Google Places API. So uh, basically, and you can get it by not only a company name, but really kind of as a unique identifier, you can get it from a phone number. So uh, on the code share here, we're showing you how to uh, get that information um, from the Google Places uh, API. And you guys found one. them. And this gives you a ton of information, right? This isn't just like the name. I mean, it's the reviews, the aggregates, the business hours, everything. I mean, like everything that Google knows about this business just comes back, right? Yeah, it's crazy. As a matter of fact, let's kind of show you what that would look like. So we don't ever do this with a uh, with our code share, but we're we're going to kind of show this in place here. Uh, so I'm going to give you an example. So here is a restaurant and it is called Kotobuki. And so basically I've looked them up and you can see I've actually searched by phone number and Kotobuki comes up, but you could just type their name in here. So what I'm going to do, you say, how does this relate to Zoho? Well, I'm going to go and I'm going to copy this phone number. And now I'm going to go into an instance of Zoho. Um, this is specific to uh, a company that uh, tracks all of corkage fees uh, for um, restaurants. If you're not familiar, corkage is when a person brings a bottle, their own bottle of wine into a restaurant. Many restaurants say that's okay, but we're going to charge you $15, $50, depends on what the, what the fee is here. So, um, and they post this up to a website. So let's, but they're, they're basically creating, you know, they want to keep a database of what the corkage is. So I've got a blank listing here. And so I'm just going to put an X in the restaurant name and I'm going to go down to the phone number and I'm going to drop the phone number in, get rid of that plus one. And so now I've got the phone number and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to save it. And as you can see, here it is. It's a blank record. It's got the phone number. It's got an X and boom, just like that. That is what that little bit of code share script did. Went out, got the information and then wrote it directly to this, uh, to this record. I don't know. I never get tired of watching that Tyler. Um, I just, uh, it is a cool one. It's a very cool yeah, one. Just see you say one number. Yeah. It got the restaurant. It got this, it's, uh, you know, put in a little overview of it. It got the Google ratings, 209 ratings, uh, the all the hours on there below. below. Yep. Pulled in all of the hours, um, for the restaurant, pulled in their address. Uh, basically just pulled in all of this information. I happen to know that, uh, you know, this, this place charges a, a $15 corkage fee, um, you know, and it's per bottle and it happens to be no limit. <laughs> I happen to go here occasionally and it's a sushi front, right? So, um, pretty nice, uh, you know, to get that data. And so you say, well, that's cool. It's in the CRM. You've got a nice database there. Um, what do you do with that? What do you do with it? Well, we're going to talk about what you do with that. So step two of this implementation of the week was say, well, we have all this data in a CRM and wouldn't it be interesting if we were to push that data up to uh, a WordPress site? So we uh, discovered there are a couple of couple things. There are two WordPress plugins we're using. One is called Mini Orange WordPress REST API Authentication, and then Advanced Custom Fields. Uh, so basically, the uh, Mini Orange is getting all the API data, and Advanced Custom Fields, if you haven't played with it inside WordPress, allows you to really, really do some super nice formatting um, inside of your WordPress pages. Um, and so basically you can use your CRM to push data live in real time to a WordPress site, which is uh, pretty cool in and of itself. We have a lot of clients that they've asked this, you've got, you know, real estate company. I mean, I don't know, Tyler, there seem to be so many different types of companies we've talked to and say, Hey, we want to just push some data live. Right. And oftentimes, oftentimes we have to do it as a portal, right? So a lot of times you uh, get a portal with a login, right? But it's 
it's not always like the best user experience. I mean, recently, you know, I was talking to a prospect, um, you know, and they're not ready to jump into Zoho yet, but they do certifications. They create a bunch of different standardized certifications that then entire industries need to use. And they want to manage that whole process of creating the certification in Zoho. Once it's done, it needs to be published, right? And like for a lot of people, publishing means getting it on a website, right? Getting it on their website. Right. Um, so it's it's really cool. There's just kind of just an infinite number of different use cases where you might want to have certain data in CRM and just have it mirror onto your website within kind of a standardized page. Yeah, so let's uh, let's show another example of that. So I'm going back into the back end of a WordPress site, and you can see here are all of the listings that you have for uh, these various restaurants. Um, so I'll go back into the, the CRM, and we've got a little button we created here, which is Sync Advanced Custom Fields to BYOB, which happens to be the name of the, uh, the website. So I click the button. It's grabbing the data from the CRM, and it's writing it directly over to the WordPress site. Now it says it was updated successfully. I think it was just taking a little bit of time to push it over there. So now let's see if we go ahead and we view this link, if the data has pulled over and boom, it all pulled over. Um, has all of the hours in, all of the information, the corkage, everything ready to go, their address. And you basically have created a, uh, a WordPress page on the fly dynamically. So if this is something, and I will tell you, when we did this, we originally, you can see there's 3,000 uh, listings here. Um, they were all pushed up at once in one big felt swoop. So we wrote a script for that. Very, very easy to do. Um, anyway, I think it's just a pretty cool implementation across the board there, Tyler. Yeah, absolutely. It's a super fun one. Yeah. So let us know if this uh, would help you. Very, very fun. 